Thank you. Okay. All right. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, hey, Chris, are they new uh, sunglasses? Are they new sunglasses? No, these, are, these are like 10 years old. I got them when oh, they first came out. So. I thought they were new glasses. They look pretty darn good. I like them. Um, Thank you. All right. All right, we have how many cameras on here? Let me see. I've got this going two ways because I can see more cameras uh, on my laptop and uh, check in that way. And then, um, Curielis, how are you feeling? Where's Curielis? I just saw it. There she is. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a little better, but still sick. Yeah, she, she yesterday, she, it was warming up. It was warming up for sure. All right, cool. So, um, Let's see who else uh, cameras. There's hey, we have Tanya Halenko with us. Everyone say hello to Tanya. Uh, Tanya, are you able to speak up? Uh, Tanya is really coming in in the EXP commercial in a big way and just a real big uh, real estate connector uh, with commercial people all over the country. Um, and then uh, you know we have a have uh, Tanya Lydia uh, and a couple other really real great commercial people. Tanya is a real connector. If you're looking to connect to someone outside the state or uh, anyone in the, the commercial real estate realm, she's a great connector. Um, Thank you, Fred. I appreciate yes. that. Thanks so much. Yes, um, yeah, I'm driving. So I had I don't have my um, camera on, but um, I'm up in Maryland and oh, um, right. I'm doing some deals here. And um, two weeks ago, I was at the uh, International Council of Shopping Centers conference in Las Vegas, which was three days long, and that was fabulous. So we made some great new connections. And right, I'm right. Uh, right now I'm working on my project here, and I, I'm working on getting a, a half acre pad site leased to a national tenant. So I got a couple lined up with Starbucks and Chick fil A that I'm working with oh, right now. Yep. Fantastic. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, Tanya, while, while you're talking about the associations, I had an agent yesterday saying, hey, I'm, I'm done with residential. I'd say I'm going to the commercial. And he said, hey, what advice do you have? What advice would you give him? Definitely with the EXP uh, Realty, you know, we offer free commercial certifications for all those who are on uh, in the world. That's free commercial certification. It gives you all the basics. Then, of course, there's the CCIM and start working toward that. But that's the creme de la creme in the commercial <laughs> business, just like CRS is in the certified residential specialist is in the residential. But if someone says, hey, I want to start joining some networks and go around people that are doing this, what network would you did you start out with? What would you recommend first? Well, since I work in mostly um, shopping centers and retail, I, the International Council of Shopping Centers, um, I also became associated with... Um, uh, CREW, Commercial Real Estate Women, which is a national organization, and then they have local chapters. What's so, the name of that one? CREW, C-R-E-W. C-R-E-W. So, yeah, commercial. commercial Real Estate Women. That's another good one. And um, as I said, they're national, but they have local chapters. Um, so that helps connect with whatever markets that you're working in. And I would definitely say that you really need to know your market. Of course, with commercial, it's much more expansive when you're looking in the uh, geographic areas, but uh, market knowledge is critical as far as um, population density, um, traffic count of vehicles. Those are all the important factors that are critical to get to pull in national tenants and then also local mom and pops um, and understanding the footprint size of what retailers require. But yeah. um, I mean, commercial expands into industrial. You know, we have some warehouse space as well, which are fabulous. And those are hard to, to get because there's not a lot of zoning that allows that type of use. But it is so critical. So um, Yeah. Now, with the uh, crew, uh, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, Chris was one of them. Chris, you, you brought it up this past week. Um, and then I had someone here yesterday talk about, I want to get into more commercial. <laughs> um, the crew, is there uh, any requirement from the agent uh, that they must have done so many commercial sales or anything? No, no, it's just, no. A, a, yeah, it's, it's just an organization. Cool. And then um, I also, I've uh, networked with other property owners and um, I'm in a mastermind group with them as well. So they're all over the country, countrywide. And um, it's just variable. So we're just private property owner, you know, landlords that have 20, 30 commercial properties. Um, others are, you know, part of a REIT. One of my one of my very good friends, she started, 
she was in the finance industry and she ended up acquiring properties and then she went public with her REIT. So it's very expansive once you get into it, but I find the ones that have the most success are honed in on a, their specialty, whether it's retail, yeah. shopping centers. Um, it's very, yeah, just knowing your market, having connections, um, that's what's been the most people successful. Yeah. You know, yeah. can't be all things. You have to really understand and be able to speak it in an educated manner. Yes. Correct, correct. Yeah. And, and you're right about the jack of all trades. And I'm glad we started out with this conversation because I'm going to get back into the mastermind in a second. As far as th this is what I want these wrenches to become is someone that got, you know, the special knowledge, bring it to the group. Because like Chris, when she came aboard, she had been selling residential for a couple of years, uh, thought she had to have a special license, to even sell commercial just because we changed that mindset. So put your antennas up. She did a million seven fifty dollar general store eight days later, and now she's done her second one, and now she's doing multifamily. So folks, your license is your license to, to hunt, and it's to hunt everything, okay? So, and, and you know, you don't need to become a shopping center specialist to at least know about shopping centers, be aware of shopping centers, just like Chris became aware of, aware of triple net leases, and it caused her to be able to do two of them already so it's an awareness, but then you still come back to your special. Then you decide where, you know, you, you're right. You can't be a jack of all trades, but the other thing, unless you're really highly focused, like Tanya's on shopping centers and that type of thing, but she's still networking with other people, right, Tanya, out of other disciplines in Absolutely. commercial. Absolutely, because yeah. I, get, I get referrals. I've had um, two residential agents reach out to me um, because they saw properties on LoopNet that, they were interested in for their clients. Maybe they sold them a house, but they had relocated and he was a gym owner. And so he was looking for space. So they started yeah. looking. So they connected with me from that aspect. This so, is the store we should get a sandwich from sometime. Where was it? Like whoops, everyone's lining up. Whoops, someone, uh, uh, Tiff, someone needs to be muted. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, that, that's it. You know, networking, 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 same way with masterminds uh, is so critical. Um, but yeah, so okay, that's cool. Crew, and then what else? If uh, Can a man join crew or no? No. No. Ha ha, there you go, ladies. The store <laughs> over here, everyone gets their sandwiches. <laughs> uh, who is that, uh, Tiff? Somebody has got to be muted. Uh, uh, they're interrupting. Um, so anyway, uh, who is that? Can somebody... Help me out there. Uh, I just don't want to interrupt while we're getting to a conversation. Uh, okay, cool. So that, that's that's hey, good. Fred, what, one more thing. What else from that? Wanted, Go ahead. Hey, Fred, one more thing I wanted to add. You know, don't discount um, your local um, industries like the Chamber of Commerce. I'm involved with the Chamber of Commerce in um, Florida, in Boca, and in Delray, and um, also up here in, in Maryland when I come up to the corporate office in Bethesda. But, um, you know, just expansive relationships with people that know what you do. The Chamber of Commerce is great, whether you're um, commercial or residential, because everybody needs a, a place to work. Chamber of Commerce is great. It's a business organization. Also, um, Rotary. Rotary is an international organization. So whenever I'm traveling, I go to a Rotary meeting, no matter where I am. I could go to them in Italy and Portugal and Spain. I go to them here in Maryland, out in Colorado. And um, again, it's just getting out there and meeting people. And when they know what you do, they always know someone that needs office space or a new restaurant space or anything like that. So it sticks in their mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, I just had a residential agent yesterday. Uh, again, just like you said, because he was talking to somebody. They said, you know, I need some office space. Um, and it was down in Miami. Um, he said, Fred, he said, oh, my gosh. He said, it was crazy. He said, because I guided him. He said, what do I do? I said, just do a letter of intent. What do, how do I do a letter of intent? You just write down what the intent of your customer is. That's all. You know, I sent him an example. He did it. And that was it. It was over. And, um, you know, three weeks later, he just he later yesterday got a check for ninety seven hundred dollars, um, mm -hmm. you know, for commercial lease. You know, so. You need to be aware of these things, folks, and, and I'm glad you're here hanging out and talking about that this morning. And, but the networking, um, you know, uh, Chris brought that up last time. She belongs to a number of different uh, things over in her area where she is in Tallahassee. Um, so you go to when you travel the world, you go to the different rotaries. Correct. 
Yeah. Uh, have you have you been to a rotary in Italy? Jacopo just came on with us. Uh, have you been to a rotary in Italy? I went some years ago. I went to one in Rome. Um, in Rome. But yes, it you know it always depends with travel. You know, yeah. what's convenient. Um, when I was skiing in Colorado in January, um, there's one that's in the same. Uh, it's in, it was in um, snow mass. It's the same spot every year. So I always yeah. try to pop in there and it's fun because the people show up and there's like ski clothes in the morning and then they go out and hit the mountain. So yeah, it's, yeah cool. Cool. And I met um, a real, I met an agent out there who actually lives in um, Highland Beach, Florida as well. Oh yeah. So she's Aspen and she's, yeah, she's there too. So it's interesting. You never know who you run into. It's a small world when it comes down to everything. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I was in Visby, Sweden one year. This was in uh, 19, when was this? A long time. It's been a long time ago, I guess. Uh, 1999, I think it was. And Visby, Sweden is a little island. You only get there by boat. You take it from Sweden to, to take a day trip. Really a beautiful place. Little small place, little small place. As I'm getting off of the ship to go board our tour, I hear a voice. I said, I know that voice. Oh, my gosh. An uh, agent that used to work for me years before, Shirley Wilde. I hear her talk. I hear her voice. I said, I know that voice. I look around. There's a bus from another ship that's just ready to leave. She, she and Jerry, her husband, had the front seat of the bus. And she's talking. She's always kind of loud. And I, I walked up on her bus. I said, Mrs. Wilde, you have to keep it down, please. She almost died. Visby, Sweden. I mean, there's probably only 300 people on the island, 400 people on the island. So it is. It's a small world. Well, mm -hmm. uh, Cool. Network, network, network. Okay. And then commercial folks, keep that in mind. Please keep your antennas up like Chris Dub did. And, you know, I really want to see you all just keep growing every year. Uh, not by just, you know, you take your business by the inch, then it's a cinch. You take it by the yard. It's hard. But as far as your growth, you should be adding a minimum of 10%, 20% a year to your growth of doing different things and trying different things. Next week, I want you to be on, please invite your friends. I have someone who's, you know, they own 16 rental properties, single mom started out, struggled, got her first duplex and her next duplex. I'm just shocked how many real estate people, so few real estate people own real estate. You know, I've owned hundreds and hundreds of units and done all, everything from building to land development to apartments to hotel. And it's just been fun. It's just been rewarding. It's been, um, and that's what we're here to do is grow and, and learn and, and always stay in green. So don't have these mental blocks. And that's what I want these masters, this my mastermind to start being about is stirring up uh, and getting people to speak up like Tanya just did. You know, last week I talked about the mastermind a little bit. Uh, the concept of a mastermind, where did it come from? Anybody know? Anybody know right off the top of your head? The mastermind came from Napoleon Hill. He's the one that started it, right? Now, Napoleon Hill is famous for what? He ran Success Magazine. Success Magazine is owned by who? It's owned by you. You're part owner in Success Magazine if you're an EXP agent because your stock is in Success Magazine. What a history. But here's what it says a mastermind. A mastermind group is a peer-to-peer -peer mentoring group. Peer-to-peer, -peer, right? I'm not here just to you know, talk about what I know or do and all that stuff. We're all here to talk among each other. Uh, used to help members solve their problems with input and advice from other group members. The concept was coined in 1925 by author Napoleon Hill in his book, The Law of Success. Now, you may have, write, you may have read um, Think and Grow Rich, but you need to read also The Law of Success, which is even just really profound. Um, and it's described in more detail. He described it in more detail in Think and Grow Rich. Um, a mastermind group is a group of peers who meet to give each other advice and support to e each other to give advice and support. It's similar to mentoring, but has several important differences. First, it will have five or six members uh, giving advice and support uh, uh, instead of just being a one on one meeting. So I want Wednesdays not just to be a one on one meeting. I want it to be really among us. So with that, you know, remember, this is mind, body, right? And then I saw Michael Sims. Where did Michael Sims go? There he is. But Michael, what were you mixing up? We, we just talked about the mind. We talk about business. Now, let's talk about the body for a minute. Uh, you know, you look like you're in pretty good shape. What were you just mixing that concoction? It was, <laughs> it was just um, some organic green tea with some cloves in it. And, um, yeah, that's, that's what I get to get my metabolism going and all that good stuff in the morning. 
I, I saw it. So what is it? It's it's green tea. Green tea with cloves. So I uh -huh. I yeah, I brew it first and I put the cloves in there and I let it brew for like 10 minutes. And then um and then I ice it. I like it iced better than hot. So I'll ice it and put some sweetener in there. I use um um what is it? Stevia? Oh I yeah. Yeah, I use yeah. stevia sweetener. So no sugar. Oh. Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> Well, one yeah. advice I would, one, one advice I would give, and, and Tanya's a, 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 you know, doctor of chiropractic and very much a health when you see her. She's just, you know, always been into health. Just to, but I would recommend honey, um, you know, especially Manuka honey, um, to sweeten it up, uh, to stay away from the process, uh, stevia. But as I saw the green drink. I said, there's something healthy. So on. Jacopo, what do you drink every morning? What do you, what's your routine every morning as far as for the body? Uh, no, Is you're muted. You still talking Hello, to me? Hello, guys. Good no, no I'm talking to Jacopo. He does. He has a uh, regimen in the morning for his body. What is it, Jacopo? Good, good morning, first of all, Fred. How's it going on, everybody? I hope everything's super good over here. You know, I really enjoy Fred uh, Italy today with 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 my small baby for my brother. You know, I enjoy. Uh, nothing. The the you know what I do. I do first of all from you know the mindset. I do my meditation transcendental uh i use some kind of device out like like brain tap other kind of device outside and, and uh, in the more i eat two time only uh during my day one in the morning around 10 and uh, i do exercise before i eat and after you know i i eat around two because how you know you are same like me i go sleep go to sleep really you know, for the majority of people really early because I go to sleep like around 8.30. I need to tell you over here in Italy, around 9.30 because, you know, it's a little bit difficult to, to stay on this. But, you know, this gives me really energy because if you sleep good, you know, you have the energy to work in, uh, in, in your goal, you know. And I have a lot of goal, I, a lot of uh, things to do, you know. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Uh, and there's so there were some comments about the um, stevia and pure, pure powder. Um, you, one of the things you want to do is try to, if you can, and and again, I mean, a lot of the stuff will just pass through your body. Your body's so strong, you know, um, that a lot of it will pass through if it's not, you know, abused, right? Like almost anything. So it's not, you know, I don't ever get really super hyper. Like I won't not have something because it has like a stevia or something and eh, you know every now and then but if it's a morning practice if you can improve upon it um it's just that you know you take a manuka honey you know or a, a really pure honey that hasn't been processed at all it just a, it's just a it's just another thing that your body would probably do better with than than the other so nothing is really in stone it's almost it's so you want to be careful your mindset's not so fixed also Right, but you, this is what a mastermind is. This is a, a chain, this exchange in all areas. So let me just do this. I'm gonna share my screen here. Uh, one of the things I'm gonna do with the mindset part that we had such success. Uh, hey, Donna, are you on yet, hey. Donna Tyler? Hey, I just got on. Sorry, I'm right, cool, terrible. Cool, cool. Uh, let, me, let me get to the mindset here. Donna, yep. uh, uh, Tyler, um, let me just show you something here. We are, um, I'm going to, I had the, um, for those of you that have been around for quite a while, I did the, um, the mini course for life, which is this little book here. Well, you can't see it now, but I'll show it to you in a second. Um, here, I'll just show you, um, the, the book. Um, uh, uh, let me go back to the community home. Um, you know, everything that I come across in my mentors, I share like this guy here, you know, Tanya, I don't know. Do you know, do you know, Dr. Mandel? Uh, he's a great guy. He, he is a chiropractor. Also, but just, oh my gosh, his health stuff. He was talking about walking backwards this morning, which I love doing. Um, but this here, one of the things, uh, for the mindset, let me just play this. Oh, wait a minute. Did I share my sound? Uh, let's see. Tell me if you can, you may, well, it, it's fine. What, what I'm talking about here is, um, I, I'm, used the mini course for life, uh, as a special group. When I started I created it for us. There's like 150 members in there. I created it as a uh, private group, right? Uh, which was, you know, um, just 
where it was itself. And so I have a, a numer uh, numerous things going. So what I want to do or, or what I did is I, uh, you know, this group will still stay there because there's some great posts in here, by the way. It's called uh, the mini course for life, if you're not a member of that. But uh, this won't be active anymore. Just, but some of the great posts that are in here from the past are really great. So anyway, I posted this up, uh, the new one, <clears throat> the other, just uh, last night. And Donna got on and she made a comment. And if you don't, and I'm going to read her comment. March 2021, I was gifted the mini course for life. Um, at that time, I felt I was at the end of my rope. My business and marriage were failing. I, I know it's a small, so I'm going to read it. My business and marriage was failing. I lived in fear and despair. I couldn't sleep. My health was failing. My daughter was in an institution and <clears throat> my family was too busy fighting to help. Too busy fighting to help. When I saw Fred at a conference, he asked me how I was. My reply, my life is a mess. His response, no, it's not. I joined the Facebook community, the group, that's the mini course for life. Uh, one tiny card each day, one thought at a time. It's all I could do. It was enough. By November, my thoughts were transforming my world. Today, should today some would say my life is a mess but that's not that's their view i'm the happiest with my life and myself that i have ever been my business and marriage are exactly where they are supposed to be i'm making the i'm making decisions out of love and not fear if you manage to stick with my post this far thank you and please if you're feeling stuck just give the mini course a try so what and in, in this post here, I have the link. I'm going to put this uh, in the chat. Um, if you're not a member of the Mind Body Mastermind, get in here. Now, I'm going to go through the lessons every day for the next 18 days. There's 18 lessons. Let me put this in the chat. Um, I'm going to put this in the chat. Uh, this is the Mind Body Mastermind, in case you don't, if you're not a member already. If you're a member... Go over the Mind Body Mastermind and, and see the little one minute video I did on the mini course for life. But this this is the little book. I mean, this is literally this is this is it. Now half of this is the book. That's it. And then these are the 18 lessons. And in the back, you know, you really become uh, a uh, participant in this thing. Here are the 18 little lessons they pull out every day. One little lesson a day. This is what Donna was talking about. And then just, this is the lesson you practice that day, right? Then you uh, then stick it in that envelope in the back. So this is a book you keep forever, right? You put it in the back. There's a little folding envelope right here in the back, okay? So it's called a mini course for life. There's a link to Amazon for it. it's $14. But I'm gonna be going through the 18 lessons. And the reason I'm bringing that up here is because I really wanna take this mastermind and the more you comment, on things like that in the in the community and help one another, the more power that we all have. Now your life might be just peachy keen right now and you have no issues, but folks, you've been, every one of us on here are old enough to know that could change tomorrow, right? And if you are in that power position right now, then you definitely want to become from a spirit of giving and give to the community that we can continue what we do here and just carry it on there. So the mini course for life, I'll be going through the 18 lessons beginning the day. I'm going to do the first one and just highlight it and talk about it. But I'm hoping that you'd get it. Ken, did I see you have the book? All right, there you go. Who else has the book? <laughs> um, so, yeah, so put, there you go. Who is, there's Donna. Okay. So, Donna, can you, um, first of all, thank you for driving on an ATV, being authentic, being transparent, and being vulnerable. You, your post, and I got to tell you, folks, see, this is where the rubber meets the road, okay, among our existence here in, in joy and peace and happiness. Donna, you have no idea of the salvation I received from your post. Now, a lot of people go, well, wait a minute, you're, you're a teacher in this stuff, in attitudinal healing. You're, you've been doing it for seven, eight years. You've been blah, 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 blah. But that's not, we are students and teachers of one another. So when you made that post, because a lot of times when you do come from contributions, a lot of times you start getting worn out because all you're hearing is the bad from people and you never hear the good. So thank you for my salvation that night. It really meant a lot to me personally 
that makes me even want to give more now. And so, you know, I, I give these books out a gift. I think I gave you the gift at, at the conference. Did I have the gift with me? Yeah, yeah, cool. So I want to give a whole lot more out now, but buy, buy one if you don't have one off of Amazon. You'll see the link here. So Donna, sh share with us a little bit of your experience with it and, and what it did for you. Okay, yeah. Thanks for having me, Fred. Sorry You're for welcome. the lighting. I'm not in my usual spot and I don't know how to fix the lighting. Um, so let me say, when I started this, I don't consider myself a super religious person. I just, I didn't really think that it would work, honestly, if I'm being honest. I did, I had nothing else to do, right? What was I gonna do? I was just, I when I say I was at the end of my room, I really did not know what I was gonna do. And I saw you and you said that to me and I said, look, I gotta get a sliver of whatever Fred has. Just, I just need something of it. So that's why I started the book thinking, I. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And it took a long time. It took the first, um, the first round through with you was very, you know, interesting and a lot of ideas. That's not when the real changes happen. The real changes happen. I, I think I say in my post, it took till November. So even after I went through the book one time, I kept my little cards with me every day because a lifetime of programming has to be unprogrammed, right? Um, and it just, the little card, and I would read it. Sometimes I would read it three times a day. Uh, and I would just like, am I thinking wrong? You know, what situations apply to this lesson? What can I do differently that's going to, and so, and then there was like this compounding effect. And by November, I, I was making, I don't know, I, I was making what I felt were good decisions, right? My family is still my family, but my mess is still my mess. The difference is my world has completely changed only because of the way I'm thinking about it. Yep, yep. It's not, it's not, you know, we don't see the world the way it is. We see the world the way we are, right? And so all we did was change that, um, that, the way you're seeing things now again this is not a crisis management book this is if you are if you are looking to enhance your business and everything else is great in your life and you're looking to enhance your business because what this is is nothing more than getting you into a you to tap the power that's already there and one of the reasons that you know when you look at a tony robbins and a lot of these people that are so effective in so many ways but yet still only 10% or less of the population live in a real powerful state uh, where they're able to move through anything without being affected, their peace being affected, without their marriage being affected, without the affection in their marriage or, or other relationships you're in not being affected. So power that that we were, you know, that's our birthright. So what this does, it gives you back that birthright and to go and to share here. Let me just share uh, one more time. Uh, and then we're going to get into back into our business uh, accountability. You notice a few people played hooky today, right? Because um, we had the accountability day. It's going to be interesting if they all showed up. <laughs> but anyway, what Donna experienced, because it, she was living in this program self, right? And that's, that's the way she was seeing it. So what the mini course is designed to do is get you back to your original self, which is here, right? Is to get you back to who you truly are. And it's not religious at all. It's not religion. Matter of fact, religion prevents this. Uh, let me repeat that. And I'm not going to offend anyone. Believe me, I was a theologian for 33 years. <laughs> I, I, I took everything serious. I've studied all the, the books. I, I've studied the Quran. I, I'm a Bible expert. I mean, and I, and I realized there still was something so lacking in my, uh, what I used to call being a Christian. I, I don't like any labels anymore. But, and again, if that makes you uncomfortable, then just look at your own self and say, as long as I'm living here and being true to who God made, and I do believe God made us. I believe that, you know, in the maker, you know, but if you're an atheist, this is still, I have, my atheist friends are some of my closest friends because I don't have any, don't, we don't have any barriers uh, among ourselves. We don't have any fixed bridge, bridges, I mean, fixed uh, walls up. And so, and they're still so much in tune with the real them that they came here with. Um, and they know there's something so much bigger that keeps calling within. So that's what Donna of experience has started. Instead of seeing life from the ego, her program self, 
She started seeing it from who she really is. This and this this stuff is not achieved. It's already there, right? And so that's what the mini course is designed to do. It's designed to get rid of all the BSS in your life, the bad, the BBS, the bad belief systems that's been handed down by mother, fathers, teachers, and preachers. All the people that have influenced your life from one way or the other. Dr. Bruce Lipton says we're all seven years, our first seven years of life, and we keep repeating it over and over and over again. And when we're in agony, just say, okay, how am I repeating my first seven years of programming over and over again? And the mini course will flush all that out. These lessons are so simple. Is uh, that So anyway, I encourage you to get on there, uh, join the Mind Body Mastermind. If you don't have a mini course for life, get it and go along with me. This don't depend on mine because mine's just going to be an overview of the lesson. Uh, you know, and I really want you to have it, carry the card around with you. Um, when I would be doing things like out, you know, rollerblade or something that day, then I always would just take a picture of it on my phone and practice it on my phone. Um, and I had a real fun, we had a lot of people who, that when I gave them the book, I said, it's conditional gift. You have to text me every day that you did the lesson, take a picture of the front and the back. And it's amazing. Again, the same, the same numbers, folks, help me out with this. Somebody help me out with this. The same numbers, 10%, only 10% of the people stuck with the 18 lessons. 18, that's it. 18 days of reading a little card like I just showed you. Only 10% of all the people I took my time, explained the book to them, gave them the book as a gift. Only 10% stayed with me and shared it with me every day. And, and why is that? Why is that? It's because a lot of people say, well, we're so busy. We're so this, we're so that. I'll tell you why it is. It's self-value. You don't value yourself enough that you really need to take that good of care of yourself. Folks, you need to do self-care above any other care in your life. And the mini course will get you doing that. Now, one of the lessons that's in here is that uh, the, it starts out, the, the main lesson is, do I want to experience peace or conflict? And, and, it, and the lesson's kind of confusing in one way, because if I say it's all about self-care first, then you give away, do I want to experience peace or conflict? Um, then in the, it says, if I want peace, I will be concerned only about giving. Well, but that giving goes to yourself first to stay true to your real soul, who you're truly created as, because you have nothing to give away until you really know your own power, right? And don't let anyone uh, mess with that power. So Donna, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. And I hope that stirred some people up. Uh, if you just got on the call, uh, Tiffany, uh, if you could recopy the Mind Body Mastermind link and then the cruise, by the way, uh, we have a cruise coming up in September with the um, Mastermind. Uh, Ted, what's up, buddy? Thank you for raising your hand. Hey, yep, raise your hand. This is a Mastermind, remember. Raise your hand and just shout it out, man. Go ahead, Ted. Um, the book, uh, I, I went, to, I, I got on the uh, Facebook site already. Uh, where do I find the book at? The little video that I did right below the comment in the video I posted, there's a link to Amazon. Um, it is um, here. I'll just post it up there really quickly here. Um, I'll give the Amazon link. That little video I did about the mini course, I provided the Amazon link. Um, uh, let's see. One, two, here we go. Facebook. Yeah, you have to hit see more. And down below, here we go. Yeah, cool. So I'll, I'll put the link in there now. Copy, uh, Zoom, chat. Uh, this is the to Amazon to order it. Oh, wow, that's a long link compared to my little short one I had. But anyway, yeah, click that link, Ted, and uh, order the book. And by the way, folks, you want to give a gift that is life change for birthdays. I give this birthdays, weddings, um, anything. I, I have a cabinet full, not full anymore. They're down to about 30 of them now. But I, this gift, I just had a uh, agent that I gave one to, just like you, Don. It was really interesting. This happened about three weeks ago when I really needed a boost of saying, hey, what you're doing is not in vain. I actually got, I wish I would have had that in front of me, um, a handwritten envelope beautiful card written out. Fred, I can't tell you how much I thank you for the mini course for life. This was a year ago. It's been so much to me. It's Keller Williams agent, very successful agent. Um, but he didn't realize what was lacking. There was, there were some things going on in his relationships and, you know, and, and, and no warmth and no, no, no intimacy, 
no intimacy. I can look at a couple. As soon as I meet a couple in my coaching and consulting, I, I can tell. I can tell. I lived it. <laughs> I can tell. Um, and so the mini course for life is it's just a basic, uh, the 12 principles of attitudinal healing that get you in touch with who you truly, really are, the real power. So I encourage it, okay? So, Ted, thank you for jumping in there. Anyone else on that, on the Mind, Body, Master Man? And then we want to get into some business ideas. Anybody? Cool. All right. Uh, let's talk about um, the accountability. Uh, Kiri Ellis, um, I know you're not feeling real well, but last week we had a few people that said, because we want to have an accountability section on Wednesdays, by the way, if you missed last Wednesdays, to help you. So I think, who was the first one? Alicia. We had Alicia, and she wanted to be uh, held accountable for calls. Okay. For who, who at was, least five calls a day. Who was that? And, Alicia. Alicia. Uh, she on the call? Ale oh, Alicia, are you there? Okay. All right. So and Alicia's then we also not had Joe for the same thing. He wanted to be held accountable for calls as well. Joe, you here? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Joe, where are you? I'm Ricky's. All right, this is telling a story here. Oh, my. All right, who else? Oh my. And then the last person that we had was Paola, and she wanted to be held accountable to be waking up earlier. Uh, okay. Paola, where are you? How are we doing with that? Hey, everybody. I am yes, doing it. Yay! We got one that showed up that wasn't afraid to, uh, to do it. Uh, I, bet, I bet you the other ones, Paola, I bet you they're going to tell us that the dog – grabbed their lead sheet and ate it right no just kidding nah. <laughs> but how, how are you doing with your uh, your wake up oh I, a lot better um so what i decided to do was um change the schedule with my dog so i'm waking up early to take him out so i'm getting up at 7 7 30 and i start my routine so that's yeah it's a start it's a start that's a start no hey listen <laughs> Look, if you are at, let's say, let's say if you have a health issue, okay, when uh -huh. you go to mind, body, mind, mind, body, mastermind, by the way, I gave you some very simple solutions. By the way, the mind, body, mastermind, for those who have been around for a while, it started as out as a 101,000 step challenge that I gave everybody. It's 50 miles a week of walking. And I said, if you can't do it in a week, then make it two weeks. If you can't do it in two weeks, then do it in three. But just have some kind of fixed number because the mind does not work on the reverse of an idea. Fix a number in your mind. You're going to get 101,000 steps in, right? And if you have to spread it to a month, that's fine too. But make sure the mind is fixed, right? Because the mind will only, it's like a torpedo. It has to have a target that's real. Uh, you'll get off track, but you'll still hit your target. So same way with anything. When I get people, in a, especially coaching them in health, is that if they're really, really bad out of shape, you can't go out and say, I'm going to start jogging tomorrow and jog them all. No, jog around the block first. Then the next day, you're going to jog around the block plus another little piece, right? And then you add to that because that's the problem. We just... We want to conquer everything, to, you know, to, in one day, and life doesn't work that way, right? It's it's the little thing. So keep that up. So you you got to seven, you said, right? Yeah. So what okay. happened to me is that I am um, I'm trying to rearrange my day. I've been um, doing a lot of work even at night, so I am very tired in the morning, and so I'm I'm starting to quit, you know early in the day like probably around 8 p.m and then I start working on myself you know working out or just you know taking care of things that I need to do around the house or my family and then um, I'm able to go to bed earlier um, right. and so that right. way I can you know manage the waking up so it, it's been a change but you know it, it's still in progress so a uh, it's it's working so far. It's good. So, good, good. Thanks. I'm so glad. Fantastic. So to next week, we'll bring it up again. Keep working sure. on it. I've got a couple of videos that I want you to look at. Um, but one of the things um, that you want to keep in mind is this here. Ditch it, do it or delegate it. And you need to ditch it at about it depends on your habits at night. For instance, the same way with eating, you have to ditch eating at a certain time. 
that because it becomes uncomfortable, uh, you know, you, with your sleep, you don't get enough sleep if you eat too late, right? All that kind of stuff. So either ditch it, do it, or delegate. But there's a point at night you've got to be willing to ditch it. Now, I I sometimes I have an emergency call at at you know my phone goes off at last night it went off at eight, okay, um, and I was in bed at eight literally, uh, but I was up at four. Um, and that's, that's eight hours this morning. I slept eight hours, which is unusual. Now I got up at 1230 and I read a little bit and uh, cause you know, I was, I was having some really great thoughts and I, I had something I wanted to pick up, but it was only 20 minutes, but I, the sleep wasn't controlling me. I wasn't sitting around saying, I can't sleep. I was saying, Hey, I, I want to digest something. Right. So, so when you practice this ditch it, do it or delegate it, you got to learn there's certain rules that you got to ditch at a certain time, you got to ditch your phone. You got to shut down your mind. Your mind, you can't. Your mind won't shut down. You don't ditch some things and just go and take some quiet time and some breathing time or whatever it is that you can do to relax, right? And then the one thing is again, ditch it, do it, or delegate it. Um, so I talked about the the to do list, my 162 page to to do list, which I only work on the top paragraph of it every day, and I'll move some things up. This morning I had to, I moved one or two things up, and the other things fell to the bottom. I can't do it all. I have, I have my, my mind is so active. My heart is so active. My life is so active. I want to do it all. I have 160 pages of doing I want to do, but I don't. I don't. Hey there. Hi. Say hello to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, Hi. So uh, anyway, um, you know, you just ditch it, do it, or delegate it. So uh, just keep practicing that, Paola, and it, it'll come about, okay? Okay. Um, uh, oh, I think it was Alice um, Curielis, not Alicia. Uh, that's, I think that's what it was. Uh, Alice, are you here with us? I know Alice had spoke up last week, or I think I volunteered her. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, anybody else for next week? Accountability? By the way, next week, please, I'm going to have this agent on that is um, uh, going to be a guest of mine from another company. When I talk to her about ownership and how she's acquired 16, 17 properties, um, so make sure you're on next week because we're going to have an investment section there. But anybody else, accountability that you want for next week? Calls? By the way, folks, this call, this this fear of influence. Let me let me again. I don't I don't like talking at you, come to you, but please, please, please. I went through this twice yesterday, and it's painful for me as a coach to keep having people miss out on such great opportunity. And this person had this this bright idea of all the stuff they were going to do here. I'm going to just jot something up on the board. And again, they have 2,700 contacts in their phone and they wanted to download all 2,700 contacts. And I'm going to work on them. I'm going to do this. No, stop. There's no way in the world you'll work 2,700 people. What is your sphere, sphere of influence? Someone had defined a sphere of influence for me quickly. To help help everyone out. What is a sphere of influence? And I want to end with this because what is it? Oh, somebody's on mute. Um, so somebody is uh, somebody decides sphere of influence. Define it. Okay, if someone were to see you in a supermarket and they at least remember your first name, then that could be a sphere of influence, right? Or if I call. Someone, I say, hi, this is the FBI, and I'm looking for Chris Stubb. Do you know a lady named Chris Stubb? Chris who? Dub. Let me send a photo. Oh, yeah, I know her. That, that could be a sphere of influence, right? But not all this other stuff is in your phone. So if you get it down to manageable numbers, 200, 300, I'm telling you, this is proven over and over and over again. 10% of your sphere of influence could be a transaction. If you talk to them and touch them and, and communicate with them at least three times a year. So that's about five contacts a day with 300 people. And that's only five days a week, 50 weeks a year. So when you look at that, this person yesterday, I wanted to shake them. They said, no, Fred, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I said, stop, stop. And they have not been working their sphere of influence. They've been here a year and a half. And I don't even want to tell you what the production was. I felt so bad for him. I said, you're not getting it. I think I shook him enough yesterday. He's going to do it. Um, but when I looked at it, you know, again, his calls, because his average sales price is so high, every call was $190. I said, so-and-so 
If I ask you to sit here right now, right last night it was late, six o'clock, close to six o'clock. I said, if I ask you to sit here with me and I'm going to pay $190, $190 for every call you make that's in your phone to say, hello, how are you doing? And did that, but up and have a conversation with me, take some notes. How long would you make me sit here with you? He said, I'd make you sit here until about two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but why don't we believe that? Right. Sphere of influence, sphere of influence. Uh, if you're in commercial sales, you know, you still are going to reach out to those people because they may have a residential referral for you. If you're in residential, uh, Chris Dove, by the way, eight days after us first meeting, you know, I stirred her up about keeping your antennas up. You can do anything. She thought about a customer who said at one tour a uh, year before, do you guys do commercial? She said no, because they didn't with the company she was with. And that resulted in a million seven fifty sale, one phone call. And then it resulted in another million eight fifty sale. Folks, this stuff works, okay? So mindset, skill set. And the skill set you have to have in this business is not rocket science. Jacopo, is, he, has, he has his doctorate in international business. You don't need a doctorate. Okay, but he's put his to use, too, in the investment end of the world, in this uh, real estate world. Um, but please, fear of influence. That's what I'd like some of you to hold accountable. Anybody need to be held accountable for your sphere of influence? Anybody? Anybody for want to be me, held accountable? For me, Fred. Oh, did I cut off? Did I cut off, Michael? Someone said I cut off. Uh, what would you say, Jacopo? Yeah, I tell you, for me, it's already, I have you, you know, like every, every Saturday we have like, we stimulate, you, you stimulate me oh. like, I mean, you, I already have like. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Michael said I cut off. I, I just sat down. I forgot I had it zoomed in, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's cool. Yeah. So, you know, what Jacopo does, and, and, and I'm going to say this, do I volunteer to do it? No. He. He volunteered me to do it every Saturday, two and a half hour marketing meeting for the Luxury and Wealth Group. He's the one that said, hey, Fred, I want to meet weekly. OK, OK. Um, now, he's happens to be in my direct group. But hey, this is my this is my calendar. I give anybody 15 minutes free because of because of Curielis, Title Partners. Title Partners is my partner in the Real Estate Resource Center. You know, Smart Mortgage is uh, my partner. Because of them, Title Partners, I'm able to give you free coaching now. By the way, take the. 59 minute masterclass in T H E R E R C. Let me put that in the chat. If you haven't taken the 59 minute masterclass, it entitles you to the free luxury program because of my partners. Um, and take advantage of that, and it gives you free coaching. Um, you know, with your with your branding. If you my team members get it already, but the RERC.com. If you take that 59 minute masterclass because of uh, title partners, Curiosity's company my partners in the Real Estate Resource Center and Smart Mortgage Solutions, they enable me, they pay all the expenses here, they pay all my expenses, and I'm able to give you all this stuff. So, you know, I do ask you to consider them and, and give them a transaction here and there, please. But uh, I'm here for you, and I want you to get your sphere of influence together. Please, please, please. It's third, how many of you can come up with 100 people and work them daily? That's 10 deals. It's 10 deals, I promise you. You may say, Fred, you don't know the people I know. They're, they're, they don't even own a house. They own mobile homes. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter. But you find 10, uh, whatever it is, you, if you work them, it will end up 10% if you truly work them and send them out something nice and, and just do what you're supposed to do with a sphere of influence. It is incredible, incredible. Because I'm so exhausted over people saying, how do I get leads, Fred? I have someone today. I'm going to sign up for this lead program, this lead program, this lead program. Last night, I woke up this morning. I, I go to bed early. This morning, I woke up to a text that was sent to me about 930. said, Fred, please check this out. What do you think? And it was a, it's a lead generation program. I'm going to do this. And it's a person I know that doesn't have their sphere of influence together. So I blasted them this morning. I said, no. You don't get anything until you get your, you show me your sphere of influences together. <laughs> um, and, and you're working on a consistent basis. So anyway, I, I wanted to bring that up on the skill set. So um, let's, let's open up to uh, Aha's, um, Claire's not here this morning, but I love her thing, breakthroughs or breakdowns. Is there a breakdown you're ready? To, what, so let's open it up before uh, we end it. Go ahead. Hey, good morning. Um, I wanted to ask if you can keep me accountable for my sphere of influence as well. Um. Uh, okay. 
Fantastic. Now, if I say yes, are you going to show up next Wednesday? We had, yes. we had, we had, we had, we had only one show up. The others they show up. Olivia, that's Olivia. By the way, Olivia, where are you? I don't. You don't have your camera on. Oh uh, no, I'm at home. <laughs> Just uh, okay. Having my All coffee. Right. Sorry. All right. Okay, that was supposed to be done at five, but we'll talk about that too. Okay. No, I'm kidding. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> no sphere. Okay, so Carrie Ellis, there we go. We have Olivia. Um, that so there's four. Um, so that is, and then we have Alice Comper that we missed uh, earlier. Um, uh, Curiel. So, okay, Olivia for sphere of influence. Anybody else for sphere of influence, folks? I'm telling you, you're missing out on a gold mine. Anybody else for sphere? Judith, you look way too in and gross. I'm going to call on you. Do you? How's your sphere of influence going? Uh, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. I was just thinking about it because I. Oh, ah, yo, yo, yo! She's thinking about it. <laughs> how much I, money does thinking? How much money does thinking about equal? I know, I know. I, I, it's inexcusable. But I, I've been into some other personal, you know, uh, problems. But uh, I'm really gonna. I don't. I really don't think I need a sphere of influence uh, kind of accountability thing. Uh, but I'm gonna work on it you know, over the next week, I promise you. All right, well, you, you may not want it publicly, but you're going to get it from me now, now that I got you. <laughs> I can tell her mind, by the way. And this is why it's important. And this, and by the way, you just said something. I don't want you to say that. You said, you know, I had these other, how did you say? You just said, um, um, there's something else going on. Don't beat yourself up over it. Put it in your calendar, S-O-I, Right now, if you if you really want to work on your spirit, make an appointment with yourself. Did. I just yeah, did. Go, there you go. I'm listening. It seems there like I'm not paying attention, but I am. Fantastic, fantastic. Make an appointment with yourself. Okay, so uh, Paola said, to "Hold me accountable for sphere of influence." And who else um, for next week for the mastermind? I want for call. Okay, Virginia Rodriguez. Uh, Carrie else, can you look at the chat there? Some of them put sure. it in there. So Virginia Rodriguez is one. Uh, Virginia Rodriguez, okay. And then Rodriguez, you want for N, N sphere, okay. So calls and sphere. And please make it simple. Just make appointments with yourself and do them, okay? Um, all right, anything I missed in the chat? I don't think so, right? Um, I got I a think question, Brad. Yes. I got a question. Um, you said you would be able to, um, to give out your um, calendar so we could get 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah, what? what I would yeah. Love to speak with Ted, you. Ted, you got it, my friend. Just take the mat, the 59 minute masterclass on that website I just posted. It's, t, it's www.therc.com. I just put it in the chat again. Once you take the 59 minute masterclass and you complete it, then, then you're going to get you get my calendar link, and then I'll look at it. We'll do 15 minutes at a time, and then get you get you your direction that you need. Okay. And and I'll make sure you get your your the, the master class is on leverage, leverage yourself, and then leverage your business. And I'm going to show you, and if and at least it, you know maybe the first one, probably not the first, but at least within the second 15 minute session we have together, how to leverage whatever it is, wherever you are at this given moment. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So definitely get, uh, go to that. Do you see it in the chat there? T H E R E R C.com. Just copy that. Okay. Right. Register for the master class and then you'll get the 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, all right, cool. Anybody else? Anybody else? Um, we're at nine 30. Um, okay. Uh, Virginia, uh, you, we, you said calls and sphere. Thank you. Looking forward to helping you and working with you on that. Okay. All right, Donna, thank you too. Um, you you got it. Um, and and I, I look forward to seeing you in the Mind Body Mastermind and, and encouraging people to do the mini course with us, okay? Ciao. <laughs> Jacopo, see ya. Tiff, you ready for the after party? Where'd Tiff go? There she is.